Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create uh, your initial uh, actual iPhone application. Uh, let's go ahead and start Xcode. And when Xcode starts up, you'll see this welcome screen. Um, just shows you uh, links to various uh, Xcode uh, programming sites. Create a new project, and here we have several templates for creating an iPhone application. Navigation based is going to uh, create an application that has a, a list component for creating, for example, an address book. OpenGL would be for creating like a 3D view or a game. Tab bar is going to create something that, for example, has a, a tab at the bottom so you can switch between multiple views using a tab. Utility, as you can see, has a, a view that you can flip. And view based is kind of your standard just blank application and so is window based but they're based on a different kind of set of classes that it builds for you so I'm going to choose view based because that's kind of the standard framework and then I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it test 3 since I've been making other tests here alright okay so now um, we have all the files and stuff and you'll see the red ones means that, you know it hasn't been compiled yet so um, I have an, an iPod Touch uh, attached to this Mac. So uh, when I build and go, it should upload the files directly to the uh, iPod so that I can uh, test it. But you'll see what happens when I click this. All right? Uh, it gives me an error. And the reason why is that um, even though the software development kit is free and all that kind of stuff, and, and I have a device attached, <clears throat> I have to... Uh, actually register as a developer um, let's go ahead and I will show you tracking the uh, storm there tropical storm Hannah is coming our way here pretty soon so okay so you go to the dev center and uh, you have to apply for either the standard or enterprise uh, developer program and once you do that one is 99 the other one is 299 once you do that then you'll be able to authorize your device to test on so we have to go to project and set the active uh, SDK to the simulator now when we build this project you'll see it says succeeded and the simulator pops up and uh, of course we see nothing because we haven't actually done anything with this program so let's quit out of that and uh, move that down so um, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to uh, create an interface for this and uh, what the different files do and how all this stuff works together and how to make your interface respond to some simple clicks and stuff now um, these are all the files that created for me and uh, you have the app delegate header and main file .h and .m. So if, if you don't know anything about programming or you're very new to programming, like my example, I, I knew action script and, and some scripting stuff, but that was it. Uh, this is going to look a bit weird to you because, for example, the objective C, the way they write their functions is different. And instead of using a dot like window dot make key invisible, uh, you you have this bracket. Uh, syntax with a space in between and stuff and then the functions I'll get into later they're, they're very different but uh, suffice it to say for right now you've got these files the app delegate is basically the the brain of, of your program and the view controller it controls these views which um, are your actual interfaces uh, these zip files are the actual interfaces that uh, will show up on the phone <clears throat> so if I double click on main window You'll see that I have, um, let me bring this over here. You'll see I have all these different files down here. Uh, test view controller, app delegate, first responder, files owner. And these these are all different files that are needed in order to, for everything to kind of communicate with each other. And then up here you have your, your console that has whatever you selected on has the different options for it. connections and you know, uh, aligning things and, and options for showing text and stuff. But this uh, this main window, actually, you don't really want to mess with it. Um, what you want to do uh, is the view controller .zip that it came with. As you see, it created two of these. So this is the one that's this is the file that's actually going to show the interface. So, for example, if we wanted to make our interface have a a black background, we could click on the background 
and then we could make it black. All right, so for example, we'll make it blue or something just so we can have something different. Okay. Now, when I go to actually add the interface items, uh, because the screen grab triangle here or rectangle I'm using, it, it might kind of cause some problems. But let's go over here <coughs> to our library, and we have a label. We can drag a label over here, and then we can go ahead and uh, we can double click on the label and change the text. All right, and uh, we can change the font size, for example, and we'll drag this out a bit more. And let's see here. The text color, I'll change that to white so you can see it better. Now let's make a, a button, and we'll call this click me. All right, so now we have an interface. 